Well, hi. <laughs> Today, uh, I'm gonna making. I'm gonna be making peanut butter chicken. Uh, some say, "What? You gonna put peanut butter on chicken?" And uh, no, not really. <laughs> basically, it's a sauce that you make that is made basically with peanut butter. Some people like it. Oh, I like a little touch of peanut butter because it's so inty. Well, good news for you. Mine is kind of different. I want my taste bud to stand up and salute when the peanut butter hits the mouth. I want you to get kicked in the face with peanut butter. That is so good. Anyway, we'll, we'll get started. First, you need a pot and pan. You need them. Four cups of orange juice. What I do normally, uh, I, I use the frozen stuff. Then. <laughs> I make it and get ready for it. You're gonna need half a cup of honey. Be generous. You may need a little bit more, but whoa. Let's start with half a cup. You're gonna add uh, let's say a quarter of a cup of lemon juice. You're gonna add another quarter of a cup of soy sauce. If you got the dark soy sauce, that's the one I prefer. And we're gonna add our spices. Okay, we're gonna start with uh, about a tablespoon of basil. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, we're gonna add a lot of curry. I love curry. If you got the hot curry, it's even better. I'm gonna put about, man, I would say two tablespoons of curry in it. And just to spike it up a little bit, a hint of cayenne pepper. Let's see, a little bit. And of course, the star ingredient, peanut butter. You're gonna be putting a cup of this stuff. And if you need more, because that's your thickening agent, if you need more, uh, don't worry, you can add more. Okay, you're gonna start this on medium setting and just let it simmer until it starts to thicken. I'll see you when I make the chicken. Okay, now we're gonna prepare our chicken. I start by putting uh, olive oil in a wok. If you don't have a wok, use a skillet. If you don't have a skillet, use a pan. I'm gonna add some butter to the oil. Oh yeah. Oh, that is nice. Butter, 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 butter. Yay. And I cut my chicken into little strips. And I'm just gonna sizzle them just a little bit. You don't want them fully cooked. You just want them sizzled. That's the thing you do. Come on, sizzle. <laughs> Sometimes you need encouragement. Come on, chicken, please sizzle. Okay. Yeah, that's what happens when you got an older element that decides, hey, I'm gonna be crapping out on you, but it's no big deal. And well, all you need is just to seize it. When you start seeing white, it's a good start. So you can put it aside for now. Keep the juice, pretty important. Alright, now we're going to start with the vegetables. The vegetables, it's your choice. Personally, I love a little bit of onion, a little bit of mushroom, and a little bit of green pepper. Uh, you go with big chunks, that's the best. This is going to need to stir fry, let's say halfway cooked, 
And if you can, well, you have a little bit of broccoli, uh, peacocks, yeah, perfect. I'll see you when I mix everything. Okay, when your vegetables are halfway cooked, you re-add your chicken in there. You mix it well. Notice that the element is still at maximum for now, but pretty soon you're going to be lowering it. And now we're going to add our peanut butter sauce, which you notice is pretty thick by now. Ooh yeah. Now we're going to put the element at minimum. We're going to mix everything. And you're going to be simmering this meal until everything is cooked to perfection which means uh, basically your chicken is really really well done you don't want to serve half cooked chicken you're going to get sick uh, but you'll see the result as soon as it's ready okay uh, with our peanut butter chicken what is nice is I have a nice rice to put it on personally I prefer jasmine rice I think it's the easier one to do but I'm going to teach you a little recipe how to really make a good rice first thing first you're going to need one cup of rice for a cup and a half of cold water but you're going to need to wash your rice first when it's well rinsed that you check and the water is pretty clear, there's not of that powdery stuff in it. You put your cup and a half of water and your rice in there. You put your element to maximum and I put a little tiny bit of olive oil on top. Then I mix everything what you're going to do is you're going to boil this for 10 minutes then well first you cover it of course but boil this for 10 minutes then when the 10 minutes are over you put it aside for 20 minutes but while it's boiling what I want you to do is go like this mix it once in a while but without taking the top off Okay, I'll see you when it's done. And after 20 minutes, ee, your rice is ready. All you gotta do is fluff it a little bit with a fork. Oh, that makes a wonderful rice. And we put it back and we wait until everything is cooked and I could put the meal together. I'll see you then. And after an hour and a half of cooking, well, there's your peanut butter chicken. Let's serve ourselves a plate. This is optional, but me, I love it. I put a few almonds on the side of it. And a tiny bit of little sesame seeds. And there you have it. So once again, if you love this recipe, please share it with people that you love. And peanut butter rules, yay! <laughs>